Well, good morning from behind the camera. <laughs> oh, I got this is what's left of the black oak that I got to cut up and some beech nuts, some other stuff. But I've been working my little butt off, and I got uh, that's almost all full. The row in the very back of this is the one we're feeding from now. It'll be empty here shortly, and all that will end up being there. But I mentioned the other day, I fractured my freaking thumb. This lever right here, when you set it, it locks forward as it's coming back. And then when it gets to the end, it kicks back. Several times I've had my hand back here and that bar came up across my thumb. And I got a fracture here and a fracture there. Um, I probably did it one too many times. And, uh, you know, it hurt. But I was like, okay. And then I started using it and it... Uh, it really hurts when I put pressure on it, so I went in and got x-rays, so. A couple hairline fractures, so. Won't be the first busted up finger I've had, but. Uh, life on the farm. A few bumps and bruises. Had some turkeys come across the field the other day. Hadn't seen any in a while. Had, uh, there was three toms, so. I guess the spring is coming around and we'll start seeing the turkeys. They really like it when I, uh. Rev up the chainsaw, that gets them going, so. Anyways, back to the sawmill. Alright, let's see here. This is the lumber I got so far from the black oak. Not too bad. Gonna have some nice stuff there. And I just wanted to show you guys the uh, large section of the log that we got left. I haven't really decided. I can't lift it, I just rolled it over here with the tractor, so. I think even if I cut it down to uh, say it's um, 18 foot 6, I think even if I cut it down to like an 8 and a 10, I mean, I can't, it's not going to lift it. So, But right here, I got about, there's probably 6 foot of crotch log here. You can see the two hearts right there. So it was, you can see where it comes together here. So I'd have to take probably a good say four foot a little more than four foot off of it and i could do just that section and make some really wide boards with um some uh, crotch material in it and then that'd probably leave me around 16 let's see now 18 uh that'd leave me around 14 foot and i could do two seven foot um i still don't think i'd better lift it though um maybe as it dries out but this also had the uh oak wilt in it so I'm trying to see where the it's still a little soft here but the oak wilt's kind of right here and a little bit here you can kind of see it um this piece split a little bit so you can see there's a checking across here and here um i'm about a foot higher than where it was rotted out probably wouldn't hurt to take six inches off of that and get up a little bit more but I want to get this stuff milled so I can get rid of the dust and all the sawdust from it. Because I, before it starts getting warmer, I don't want this stuff to spread. Um, so I want to get it done before March. So we haven't really decided. Um, if you're out there and you're near Virginia or Pennsylvania or whatever, and you want to make me an offer on this log, hit me up. You know, but you got to have a piece of equipment to load it. So... Um, you could probably make arrangements with our neighbor who has an excavating and recycle uh, company and he might be able to load it up on your trailer. But I know if the tractor won't pick it up or even budget, it's probably close to about 6,000, um, 6,500. If my skid steer was running, I could try to lift it with that. And uh, if it lifted it, it would be under 6,500 pounds. If it won't lift it, then it's over that. So anyways uh beautiful black oak uh probably what 150 years maybe a little more years old so it was a twin to that one right there and that one's actually a little bit bigger so hate to see it go but it got oak wilt in it and uh need to get it down before it became a problem but it needs to be processed before it starts getting warm out so if you're interested uh hit me hit me up so We'll go from there. All right, I'm back. We just did a live and I just walked all the way back. So a little tickered, tuckered out. 
Anyways, we're going to try a different view just for a little fun. I got you guys on the front of the tractor and I'm going to bring you up in the air and tilt you down and try to get you a higher view looking down on the uh, mill. And I started cutting that one with the crotch log. It had the triple in it. So I got one board off the top and then I got a second board that pretty much got down to the flat spot. Uh, got rid of the triple, the, the, the uh, branch coming up. So now we're down to a double or double combination with a, with a, uh, a uh, triple crotch. So uh, let me lift you up and get you in position. We'll go ahead and cut the rest of the slog. And then I'm going to put one of the smaller logs on the uh, mill. And then we'll cut that one up. And that should be straightforward on that one. No, no special, super special features. But I just wanted to give you a different angle. So let me see what happens here. Start the tractor up and move you guys around a little bit. The sun can be tricky here sometimes. quite see you in the view in the view in the back because you're so high up in the air but let me see if I can see you in the front here make sure I got you guys oh yeah you can see me you're good all right let's get through this log here and uh, we'll get started on the next one so I got these in the way a little bit I need to rip these in half some beach beach nut planks so uh, Let's see. Get that over. I gotta let these down a little teeny bit. Uh, there we go. That back one will be better. Make sure it's not gonna roll around on me. A little bit of delamination here because I'm cutting through that uh, where that other branch came up here. See where we were. Uh, eight. Oh, open that up. Go on down to seven. Close if I left the arm close to the skin, we'll probably be alright. We'll find out. Okay, it's there. 
I can try to get some stop it. Just try to run. Uh, might be able to get some cuts off of it. Uh, that's going over too far. So let me see if I can get this stop to hold it for a couple cuts. This end is being held by the uh, little dub on the bars. So I don't need any of these. It's catching right here. There's a little stop. Uh, if I have to, I'll cut that off. Uh, I hate pulling the pulling the chainsaw right now. We'll see. So we're at six. I'm gonna do an inch and a half. Then we'll go down to four and a half. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to do that. Let's see. We'll go back up to. I want to get a flat spot. Let's see. Uh, that'd be close. We'll have to come down to about five and a half. Start our numbers over. That'll give me two inch and a half. So let me lower you down here. Down you go. Now I can grab you. Let's see how good this battery's doing. It uh, it's, it's just not super warm. And it's not super cold. It's like mid 40s, something like that. But it's not too bad. Uh, good day to go out for a walk. You won't get overheated. Let me clean this crotch section off for you. You can't see it in this one anymore, but the other one has it where it was coming out here. So, uh, still lots of good color in here. I'll take you over and show you the other ones in a second. And then we'll cut this basically in half to a one inch piece. But you know, I like the beauty of these crotches and this tree definitely had enough of them. Um, how they will act as long as I keep them out of the sun and covered and uh, let them slowly air dry I'll probably have pretty good luck with it um, I've had good luck in the past doing that but you gotta be patient you're not gonna force these to dry too fast or you won't have nothing left this one's a little thinner one uh, well it's one inch but you can see it's not it's not very wide down here so i don't know it's got a cool little now see something like that i would cut here and here and put a clock in that wouldn't that be cool i've done that and uh i like doing neat stuff like that then when i come across here and do like the curve down and make that a clock in a flat spot to sit on a bench so uh I've done that and won some art fairs from it, uh, art shows. So you got to think out of the box sometimes on some of these projects. I know a lot of people say, "Why would you? What are you going to do with that stuff? It's not thick enough to do anything." Oh, it's plenty thick enough. Plenty thick enough to do whatever we got to do. So let's get around here and uh, let's back the unit up, the mill up here. Take a slice, one more slice out of that. I mean, just look at that. Look at the colors, and then right here, right in there. So, imagine that with some gloss sauce on it. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So, let's see, we're right at three. So, we'll go ahead and go down to an inch and a half, and that's where it'll get cut. Now, we'll end up, if it doesn't cup, you could probably get close to, you know, an inch and a half, but that's not realistic. So probably by the time you plane these and mess with them, you're going to end up with like an inch and uh, an eighth, inch and a quarter maybe, something like that. Which is fine for this little, these little, uh, little pieces of log, they're fine.
I would say you could do a book face with it, but you'd have to put a lot of uh, epoxy between it because obviously with the Y there, uh, you know, it'd be quite a far apart. Now you could take and put the Y reverse end, have this Y at one end and that Y at the other end, our crotch section. That'd make an interesting table, that's for sure. You know, keep this to the outside, flip that one over 180, keep that to that side. And then epoxy in between all the rest. Boy, that'd be a beautiful table. That would be, I tell you. But that's uh, that's dreams right now because uh, we got quite a few years in between us before we could do that. Well, this piece is here, so I just want to get it cleaned off and give you guys a show. Let's see what's going on. You waste all this time watching. I don't want you to go away with nothing. Uh, you don't get to see anything. So, let's get this cleaned off here. Nice. Tractor's kind of blocking the sun a little bit. It's a certain times of the day. It, it's hard to see in here. But anyways, there you go. There's the two crop sections. And, uh, I mean, it's some pretty lumber in there. There's no doubt about that. So, I mean, you look at all the lumber you got out of that one little log you wouldn't have believed you'd got that much but that's a lot of very pretty lumber especially with the crotch in it so looking forward to in a few years uh working with it and i'll probably these crotches i got a lot of uh the uh pentacryl i'll probably let this stuff get down um down in moisture i'll keep it stabilized keep some weight on it with stickers Maybe even wait till it gets down below 24%. Go ahead and treat it with the uh, wood juice. And uh, especially in these crotch sections, you know, just to stabilize that. That would probably save all these um, and keep them really stable. Um, keep them from warping and cracking. So that's probably going to be the my goal is to use the wood juice on it once it air dries some. And we'll have some very pretty stuff to work with. Or somebody else. All this stuff's for sale. So if I don't work with it, somebody else will work with it. So anyways, guys. Uh, I'm spinning you around. Oh, sorry if I got runny nose. But uh, a little cold out here. And, uh, you know, the sniffles. Spring will come and then uh, all the runny noses and watery eyes from all the pollen. So that's just the way it is. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I appreciate you. And it uh, means a lot to me, you guys participating in all this. Um, that's why I do it. To bring you this really cool stuff. And I love the look of, uh, of wood and all the beauty that's in it. And that's why I do it. And I want to share it with you guys so that you guys can experience the same thing. Especially those of you who may be in cities and stuff and you just, you know, that's no way for you to do this stuff. So... Anyways, and then I know a lot of part of the world, you don't have trees like this. So you don't get to see this stuff um, and enjoy the type of trees that we have here. So, and we don't get to enjoy your trees either because I'd be just excited to see yours too. So anyways, thanks for watching. Take care. Till next time. Be blessed. Quick time lapse of this uh, nine foot piece. Did get some nice knot where the branch came up on that side a couple boards with some really nice pieces in it nice look there got a few little knots in that one i decided to go ahead and keep this one at ten and a half by four and a half i figured that might make a nice live edge oak black oak mantle so almost a full battery but uh hopefully it's got the time lapse on there i'm almost out of battery so uh i'm done so that's it for this video. I'll probably throw this in front of the other log just for a real quick short get you started.